Hello everyone and good morning from a beautiful Los Cristianos here in Tenerife. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day and it is now the 1st of December. So if you are new to the channel, a big welcome. I am Andrew, I do live here in Tenerife. I've been here for 10 years now. And if you are returning back, a big welcome. Now, today's topic is the controversial new law that is coming into place from tomorrow, the 2nd of December. There are some changes and requirements when checking in to hotels and accommodations. I have had tons and tons of messages, comments. Can you explain it? Can you do a video? So I was happy to jump on and just run through it all with you. It is quite controversial, this one, so you're going to have to let me know in the comments. There's been a lot of concern from hotels and hotel groups. Uh, some people are saying it's a good idea. Uh, a lot of people are saying it's definitely not. So you are going to have to let me know in the comments, once I've explained everything, what you think about it and will it affect uh, you visiting Spain, Canary Islands, Tenerife? Would it put you off? Uh, will it change anything that you do? Uh, so uh, do let me know in the comments at the end. So first of all, I'm going to run through a few different articles just to explain exactly what it all is. Some of you may have heard about it, some of you may not. So I'm going to read this article uh, from the iNews, which explains everything. So I'm going to read through this one first, and then we'll uh, give an, into some other opinions, my opinions on it, and uh, my thoughts. We're going to be touching on other little things as well in terms of entry requirements, the airport, and uh, other information you might want to know about arriving here uh, to Tenerife or the Canaries. So, uh, Spain is changing its entry rules. Here is what you need to know before you travel. Uh, so, some have called for a boycott of Spain following the implementation of controversial new rules. British travellers will face more bureaucracy when visiting the nation's favourite holiday destination, Spain, uh, from the 2nd of December. New entry requirements are coming into force that require a host of data to be provided when checking into accommodation or hiring a car from passport details to home addresses and mobile telephone numbers as well. The law was passed on the 26th of October in 2021 to protect public safety from terrorist threats to organised crime and uh, other criminal activity, according to the Spanish government. After widespread opposition, in part uh, due to concerns about data protection, a bit of a big brother surveillance type operation as well, it will start to be enforced from tomorrow, Monday, the 2nd of December. In 2023, 70 million British travellers visited Spain, more than any other nation in the world. Since Brexit, British passport holders uh, can be asked to prove that they have sufficient funds in uh, during their stay. That is 114 euros per person per day, so about 95 pounds per day, uh, or the equivalent in foreign currency, as well as proof of a return ticket to fly home and a confirmed hotel or accommodation reservation. If you are staying with friends and family, they can ask uh, for a proof of address certificate. Uh, the carta de invitacion uh, completed by the hosts may also be, be required as well. Now, of course, you cannot stay uh, more than 90 days and 180 days as well in terms of that Brexit rule. So that is uh, checked using the passport stamps. So just to touch on what we've already discussed just there, uh, it does mention car hire. That is what I do over here. Sanasty Car Hire, I've done it for seven years. The company's been running for 47. I have a car rental company over here. I'm not quite sure why they've mentioned it in this article because as far as I'm aware, I've not had any information of any changes when hiring a car. And the information that is going to be requested from you, so your passport number, your address, your telephone number, your driving license, all of that is required anyway. It always has been. In the seven years I've had the company, every single car I rent out, I have to fill in a contract. I have to have everyone's home address, their return details, um, their mobile phone number. I have to see their passport, take down their passport number. And then every single day, I have to send to the National Police a big form with who's got what car, what passport number, what name, what dates they've got it for, uh, when they picked it up, when they're returning it. So that has always been a rule with renting a car anyway. So I don't think anything has actually changed there. It's more to do with the hotels being able to request more information. But in terms of hiring a car, you're always going to have to give that information, home address and everything, because if you get a speeding fine or anything like that, we have to forward it on to you and give the police the details. So car hire, I don't think is, has changed. As far as I'm aware, we already request all these details anyway. So, 
Reactions have been very mixed to this new law. Uh, from December 2nd, international visitors to Spain will be required by law to provide several pieces of information to their place of accommodation when checking in. However, pushback has come from several groups, including uh, the Spanish Confederation of Hotels and Tourist Accommodations. Uh, the association has criticised the government for the implementation of the new rule and the potential effect it might have on tourism in the country, suggesting people will be put off by the changes. Travellers who come to Spain are looking to enjoy their leisure time, not to be immersed in intrusive and endless administrative processes that put their privacy at risk. This regulation is not only unnecessary, but it is also creating uncertainty and erodes confidence in our tour uh, tourist offerings. Tourism in, is the cornerstone of the Spanish economy and we cannot allow our country to lose either competitiveness or confidence of tourists. So that is their opinion on it. They have quite a few uh, concerns. So what are these new requirements? What are the details that you will need to give in Spain in your accommodation when you check in? So as well as ensuring they meet the financial requirements set out by the government, visitors aged 14 and over will need to fill in a form with their name, nationality, gender, passport number, date of birth and home address. If applicable, a landline or mobile phone number will be required alongside an email address. The form will then be administered uh, uh, by the accommodation provided. So, uh, the UK Foreign Office is likely to update the information requirements on the website, so do keep an eye out that, uh, for that on the UK uh, Gov Office uh, website. Currently, there will be no fines in place for organisations that don't collect the information properly, although tourists could fall foul of such penalties in the future when the scheme is assessed. So that is the article in the eye, that's how they explain it all. Now for me, I don't think there is actually that much change in my opinion. Any hotel I've checked into over here, when I've done my hotel reviews and things, I've always had to give in my, my TIE, my residential card, which has my name, my gender, my date of birth and my address on it. If I don't hand in that TIE, I would have to hand in my passport and probably another form of ID, uh, potentially a driving license. When I go away uh, to Florida, different places, again, I have to provide all that information anyway. So I'm not too sure is it really as drastic as it's being made out. I think the only thing that wouldn't normally be handed in is your home address. I mean, even when you check in on Royal Palm, for example, it's a requirement for your, a copy of your passport and everything like that. So is there really that much of a change to make a reservation at these hotels? They require a phone number and email address anyway. Of course, you've got to give in your name. So the only thing that really stands out that could be a bit of a change that people might not like is the home address. I don't really see any big difference in what they're already asking for, in my opinion, from what I've experienced in Tenerife anyway. Most of these hotels ask for this stuff anyway. So uh, that is that article. I'm going to go through a little bit of a, um, a different article here from uh, the Canarian Weekly, which you can have a little look at and uh, have a little read of as well. I'll leave the link to this in the description. Uh, so they uh, explain that a lot of the hotel groups are quite concerned about it. So uh, the Spanish Confederation of Hotels and Tourist Accommodation has announced its intention to take legal action against the Royal Decree, uh, which introduces new regulations, meaning that hoteliers will have to register sensitive data at hotel receptions when checking in for their stay from Monday the 2nd of December 2024. Uh, hoteliers are expressing deep concerns over the decree's potential negative impacts on both the tourism sector and visitors, uh, citing insufficient dialogue and clarity from the government needs to be given. It has uh, criticised the government for ignoring repeated requests for consultation, not only from its members, but also from international tourism associations as well. Despite months of warning about the possible administra administrative and economic burdens the regulation could impose, the government has failed to issue a promised uh, order to clarify how the decree will be implemented. So they have just gone ahead and done it. They've not met up with any of the hotel groups. And uh, 
They are warning of different legal risks, European violations. They've warned that the regulation violates European data protection and payment system directives, leaving businesses vulnerable to significant fines as well. Non-compliance could result in penalties exceeding €30,000, creating what CEHAT describes as unacceptable legal uncertainty for the sector. Now, bear in mind, the hotel sector does contribute 12% of Spain's GDP. So you're going to have to let me know your thoughts on this one. In my opinion, I think a lot of these hotels, especially these big four-star, five-stars, would request a lot of this information anyway. Um, certainly when I book hotels on booking.com and things, I'm thinking back, and a lot of this information is provided when you check in anyway in other countries. But let me know your thoughts on it. In terms of arriving at the airport, you're not going to be asked for all this information. You're not going to be asked for your bank account and prove how much money you've got and everything. No one's had that done to them that I'm aware of uh, since that rule came in. And they simply haven't got time. They were literally, you'll show your passport, they'll stamp it and away you go. Um, so in terms of the airport, that will still stay pretty smooth. The only change you might see is with the hotels asking you to fill in this little bit of a form. But it's only what they would have on their system anyway, I think. But let me know your thoughts on it. In terms of car hire, I don't see any changes with that. We need all those details anyway. Always have done. And I've been collecting those details for the last seven years. You have to be under, the, obviously, the data protection. And we have to send the passport number, name, and uh, car registration, what car it is, what colour the car is, and the dates to the police. Now, I can see the government side of it as well. They're trying to clamp down on proper... We're talking big criminal gangs here. We're not talking, you know little bits and bobs, we're talking big, organised crime, you know, drug trafficking, people trafficking, proper big criminals, I think is what they're trying to catch and look out for, in terms of all little petty crimes and people with criminal records and things, I don't think that's really what they're looking for, they're looking for real big organised crime that they can try and break down and catch people out staying in hotels or something like that, so you can see their side of it, they're trying to protect us and terrorists, things like that. But you can also see other people's side of it, especially in this day and age. Everyone is very protective of their information, protective of their data, worried about it getting leaked and everything like that. So I can see the public's concern as well. Will it put people off coming to Tenerife, Canary Islands, Spain? I don't think so. Uh, you might get a small minority that don't want to because they don't want to share their details, but you're talking a very small percentage. I think overall, people might not be impressed about it, but they will still go and do it. For example, if this was brought in in my favourite holiday destination, Florida in Orlando, would it put me off going? Absolutely not. You want my details? Fine. As long as you don't leak them, you don't send me all the nonsense, spam and all the rest of it, you can have them as long as it's protected. You're not going to leak any of my details. Obviously, I would still be going. It's my favourite holiday destination. Um, so it's going to be a case of if you've got nothing to hide, Will you be bothered? If you have got stuff to hide, it might bother you. I don't know. It's one of those controversial ones. So do let me know down in the comments your thoughts. Is it going to bother you? Would it put you off? Are you annoyed about it? Will you just go with it? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, I do tons of videos in Tenerife. Excursions, restaurants, walkarounds, live streams. They're not always these like serious, informative ones. We have a lot of fun on the channel as well. So uh, do check out the other videos. Make sure you hit the subscribe hit the thumbs up but yeah let me know would does it bother you or not yes or no let me know in the comments thank you very much and uh, stride on get your trip to tenerife booked it's absolutely gorgeous at the moment it's currently 25 degrees at 9 a.m on the 1st of december it is unreal out here so get it booked get yourself over here stride on